Although there's general knowledge that no one is above mistakes, but sometimes correcting someone openly meant to sound offensive to some group of people. Recall that Hadiza, the wife of Kaduna State Governor Erufai, was dragged online after correcting the grammar used by former Vice President of Nigeria, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, on Twitter. Atiku posted a tribute tweet to the late Islamic cleric Lemu on Twitter, but the governor, governor's wife, Hadiza, spotted an error with the use of humanist instead of follower of the principle of humanism as contained in the former vice president post. This makes several Nigerians to drag her online for the open correction she made. The Cardona First Lady has tendered her unreserved apologies to all who meant to feel offended over the correction she made and reveals that she meant no harm in the correction as nobody is perfect as she can as well be corrected by others and she tweeted please when i correct your grammar know that i mean no harm i am i make mistakes too please feel free to correct me when i do that way we will all learn from one another apologies to anyone that has been offended and to those that may be in the future okay i think uh, it's a good one mm, of course uh, nobody is uh, nobody knows it all and she has come out to offend. Uh, she has come out to apologize. And she said she has said she can make mistakes. Definitely, we are all prone to make mistakes. We are bound to make mistakes in one way or the other. It might not even be in academic area. It might not be in you know what you think. But a lot of things. Um, some people just feel like that. You think you don't think you think I don't know what I'm doing. You know it might be you know the issue of the issue of life. You are trying to make some decisions. You are trying to make some points, and you are taking some decisions and maybe. To some people, that is that might not be the right thing to do, but to you, it's okay. So it is just like that. In other areas, you can make mistakes. Nobody, of course, nobody can say or can know it all. Even in the policy being made, policies making, they, they make a lot of mistakes, and it will affect a lot of people, which is affecting just like we have in the country. But my own opinion is that since she has come out to apologize, and she said she herself, if she's made some kind of mistake, please correct me. I think there's no need for that, but because of uh, the way we are, of course, it will be taken in a different way. And uh, let's hear people's uh, reaction to that which she has said. I don't think a correction is necessary here. Atiku was only money a friend, so she should keep her correction for the amajiri uh, from her state and the education they refuse to implement in their northern environments. Arrogant woman, is Atiku your classmate or your husband's mate? Please. Uh, have ever correct? Have you ever corrected a buari in that manner before? I am going to educate you all about what the first lady to the state did, and it was inappropriate. She knew that open correct uh, correction is similar to confrontation. As a teacher, as a teacher, constructive correction is highly upheld as a tool, and she ignores the rule too although she has tendered an apology but the damage is done already she could have done the correction through a test to mr vice president or ex as something to notice internally therefore anyone who has indulged her corrective claim as merely a correction publicly is also done wrong okay this person believes that hey, she would have just like oh ah, sir this thing, uh, this is next and this, or maybe you can just go and change it. I don't know whether it can be corrected or it can be changed. You know, that is the area this person, this particular person is really coming from. Because, of course, if it goes online like that, uh, that, means, that means people will not even want to see it as uh, you trying to correct the man. Because a lot of things have been done have been done behind the scene that people don't even know. It is not everything that people bring to, to social media. Once you bring it to social media, that means you are looking for something. That is it. Maybe she didn't realize it from that angle. And I'm sure from now, she must have learned that if not that you have an ulterior motive or you have an agenda for doing that. But really, if you are really genuine, at least as from now, you can just go and meet the person at the back and say, see, 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 see. And that is it. There's arrogancy in that Aero 5 family. Is Atiku Abubakar admits that she will correct his English publicly. Why don't she correct Buhari? Uh, when last... If you ever do corrected your president, 
the report okay when will you correct the man the many grammars from Asurok, the government uh, the governorial candidate to calling angela mark of germany that that of a western a west germany okay to covid covid one nine to the rest i'm even ashamed to type here madam correct madam correct her way to let me check how many errors in my own before posting oh very many i'm sorry readers for not correcting them okay just like he said you know there's a point there when buari has been making a lot of mistakes has she ever come out to say that you see when Ibuari was talking about a COVID-19, you know, after then, you know, the man, everybody, the old Nigeria came out and said this and this and this and that. But she never even, she has not done that. You know, people are coming from that angle. And are you going to blame them? You are not going to blame them. And I'm, I'm sure she must have learned her lessons because I'm sure nobody's going to be talking about a article, this and that, this and this and this and that, who he was trying to um send a message, a condolence message, a message or whatever. I'm sure people wouldn't have even looked at that. But now she has brought the whole thing out. And some people believe that she would have done that in the secret or behind the scene. But for you to bring it out, you know that anything that comes online, you know, people will take it and people feed, people live on, on social media. Nobody get, goes to, no cares to go to maybe there's a, a workshop or an event coming on. It is online. Everything is happening. People live, people bathe, people do everything online. So, once you bring out a cup, a topic like this, it will trigger one hand. Well, uh, the wife of a small bed governor of a Kaduna state has been infected with the uh, mortal mouthed spirit by her husband. Now, correction, ah, okay. This some people don't take hands to to the extreme. The wife of a okay, the fat. The all uh, the fat the all fingers are not the fact that the all fingers are not equal. They are people of personalities, so as such, their image must be respected. No respect for others this day again, Madam. Correction. Advise your husband to govern correctly. The motive of your correction is questionable, and even your apology. You see, people. Anytime, anything you bring to us online, you should understand that uh, it will get a backlash. Whether positive or negative, so we just have to be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Twitter is not a uh, should not uh, should never be used as an English language uh, class. In this instance, it was inappropriate. Many people must have noticed the mistake and let it pass. Hmm. 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 How I wish you can as well correct your governor husband over his injustice method on Christians in the state he governs. His government is obviously against Christians by adding Fulanis, by aiding Fulanis bandits to attack and kill them. Kindly offer him your, your kindly offer your husband some advice too or corrections. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's know your thoughts on this.